watching a, a long time ago the I Am Heath Ledger documentary, mm. and I believe it was his agent in there who said that he was an actor who almost backed out of every project that he ever had because he didn't have the confidence in especially working with his idol, Mel Gibson, and, and being on set that he called his agent was like, I don't know what to do. I'm lacking the confidence. I don't know if I can do this. Do you remember him coming to you with concerns like that on set ever? Well, uh, he was the only guy who ran out of uh, audition. Oh, uh, what happened? Well, well, I auditioned him, uh, you know, like you normally audition people. And all of a sudden, in the middle uh, of the audition, he says, uh, I suck and ran out. <laughs> he said out loud, I suck. Mm -hmm. Wow. What, we have, we have did, he, did, did you well, call him after did he that? Well, no, no, no. I, then, I then said, uh, I turned to April Webster, uh, my, my, my uh, you know, like uh, casting director, and said, April, bring him back. He was good. He was good. So the kid was good. So... She needed three weeks to talk him into coming back. Oh, shit. And when he came back, he had blue hair. <laughs> <laughs> Honest God. Wow. <laughs> and then I had luckily had like a hat, you know, one of these, you know, hats they have yeah. in, in this time. And then I put a tri on him so yeah. we don't see the, the blue hair. And then he kind of got through the thing. And then... Um, yeah, and then he was, he was just like the perfect actor for this part. Why do you think that he thought he sucked? He was very insecure about himself, always. He always uh, was not really happy with what he did. But that's actually good for an actor because if they're too confident, they will never, ever improve. That's always right. been my issue. <laughs> and that, <laughs> really? came, <laughs> that came out uh, on set sometimes? Would he? Yes. That was like kind of, for example, um, uh, we, we did like the death scene of him, um, first him. And then uh, we like ran out of light. And then uh, at one point, uh, Mel did his. And Mel was so good. I mean, he was just good. And then uh, you know, then he comes to me, can I do my scene again? <laughs> you know, because he was just so kind of thought, you know. And then I have to give it to Mel. Mel then acted exactly what he acted in his shot. Even he was not in camera for his. So he was delivering the same performance even though he wasn't on film. Yeah. Wow. Do you think that he does that for everybody or because he saw that Heath was so... No, he, he saw that like kind of Heath was struggling. Wow. And, I mean, and, and also, I mean, you have to also understand, you know, um, uh, my sister and I were the only ones who really kind of believed that Heath can do it. And everybody else, like uh, Sony, um, you know, Dean Devlin, even Mel kind of thought, we, we tested two actors. And everybody wanted to hear the other actor. Do you remember who it was? No, I cannot say that. But, uh, but it was uh, somebody who's but working? Was, he, was, uh, he, he was the bigger name. Oh, okay. okay. And uh, so I, I kind of like had to call Mel and saying, look, I like the other guy better. I like he's better. And then he says, well, you're the director and hangs up on me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I said to everybody, okay, uh, Mel said yes. And, yeah. uh, uh, and he says, I, I have the decision, so let's do it. And then I actually at that time called immediately my uh, my uh, first AD and said, can we like schedule his and um, and Mel scenes all in the first week <laughs> so we know right away if this works? Oh, wow. And then after three days, Mel came to me and said, uh, you were right, I was wrong. Oh, what was it about Heath that made you think it was there him was over somebody else? There was something noble about him. There was something honest. Uh, this was not, you know, there was some real honesty about him. Uh, I cannot like say it differently, but I think as an actor, you cannot play or act certain, you know, characteristics. You have to have them, right. and I think that was a little bit, you know, what why like he's what such a became such a big actor mm -hmm. because there was something real about him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was something about him which was just like genuine, uh, or genuine, you know, like honorable. Mm -hmm. He was that person, and uh, but he was incredibly insecure.